Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for MaxCookie. Uh, today we'll work as the tears animation, so we'll see some techniques to make the animation of tears. Uh, the first way will be really, really simple and uh, the idea is to create path to animate the tears. So, uh, let's go in the orthographic. We are using this uh, head model and this one is given by uh, by Lee Perry Smith from Infinite Realities Limited and uh, uh, we'll use it as a guide. So the idea is to work on this part and uh, model the path. So to model the path we need the uh, three dimensional uh, snap then we can set with the right mouse button that we like to use the vertex snap and then we can start to create a line so uh, sorry let's start to create something you see that we have the guide there. Let's see that maybe this there and then there. Okay. Uh, now we can select uh, all the vertices. But before, I like to add another vertex there. So let's open wider and refine. Nice. Let's remove the snap. Select this one. And we move it inside the head. Then this one can be moved again there. Nice. Uh, now we can select the other vertices, right mouse button, and move. So you see that we have uh, a curve. Okay, uh, so this one will be the tier path 001. So that's the first path we'll use. Then we can, we have to fix this vertice so let's go to have the adaptive interpolation and then we go to change the curve there okay so we have the right curving and later we can tweak again if something is uh, working in the wrong way Okay, uh, let's create a new one. So again, line. And this one will try to do something a little bit different. Okay. Um, same thing like before. We go to have a refine there. Let's remove the snap, then we select this one, and this one will go inside. This one will go out just a little bit higher, and then right mouse button and smooth. Okay, we should have the right path. And this one will be the tier path 002. Now we need the shape. We need the shape that can be uh, animated and uh, that can be used as tier. Uh, you have uh, many ways. Uh, you can decide to create something like a tube, something like a capsule, or you can use. Um, uh, a box so you are free to decide 
Uh, this time we'll try to use the um, the capsule. So let's go to create it. We need obviously a lot more segments. We'll use more segments on the other side too. It needs to be more label. So let's start to uh, play with it. And this one will be the tier 01. Uh, sorry. 01. Um, to animate the tier, we need a path deform. We go to select the path. We say move to path. And then we go to see if it is working. You see that it's working. We have to tune it. So, uh, first of all, it needs to be uh, not so longer. And it needs to be more little. Back there. Okay. Okay, nice. So, you see that it is working, we have to tune it a little bit later, but uh, it starts to be something usable. So, uh, first thing, uh, we need more segments, let's go for 50, and let's go to have 24 for the segments there. Um, then uh, we have to tune it a little bit, and I mean, we need uh, let's say that is uh, something like that and then we go to have first of all uh, an X mesh uh, sorry an X4 let's remove the final version and then we go to tune a little bit just over one axis this one and this one there Okay, so you see we are working on this axis there, and that's the other axis. There you can decide if you like to have rotation or twisting, but for the moment we go for something like that. And maybe we can have Uh, not so much about the uh, the twist then I like to do something more and I mean I like to go for um, an edit poly and the first part there can became you see uh, a little bit bigger so we can go to move this part move this part too and then we pick this area and you see we are scaling it Let's see what happens if we have a tube smooth. Okay. You see, we are tweaking to have a bigger area uh, at the beginning there. Then let's pick just this area. Okay, and close. Uh, it was the wrong point 
uh, but it's not a problem. We can select this area and rotate over one axis using the uh, the constraint. So 180 and back there. So now we can see if the animation is right. That's right, we have just to understand if there is something we are doing wrong. So let's go to scale all the other axis. Okay. Now it is clear that it's happening something over the model. So let's remove this one and let's set Let's say maybe we can make a selection and then we can have an FFD. Then we pick the points and we scale it. We pick the other points and we move it there. And again, then we move everything maybe this part uh, is nice so let's go to C okay uh, we can pick again this part we can skate it and then we can move a little bit this area okay and it's not bad. Um, let's go there and let's use another port set to close the selection and then back. Okay, and you see that now it's working. Okay. If we like we can scale a little bit over this axis and if we like also a little bit over the other axis so uh, back there okay and we can animate and let's say that we have The animation down and this way you see that it's falling okay nice um talking about this line we have the tier there uh, let's save let's go back in the animation sorry no load animation but the cute editor so um that's the animation, the path, and you see that everything is really uh, linear. Uh, let's say that this one is linear, there it is going down slower. Uh, we can have, for example, some keys there, and uh, maybe there too. Okay, let's start to change a little bit. And this way you see that we have there the tear is slow, then it falls down, then it is again slower, and then it falls down. Okay. And it was done just using those points, it's really, really simple. Um, let's go back there, and if we like, we can have a noise to have a little bit of distortion, so Um, noise
we need to find the right scale okay you see that now it's going better and the other one over let's say just a little bit over the z-axis and a little bit over the y-axis let's see okay see it is uh, it is better to use this one as a copy over the spline so paste let's pick this one and we can remove from there so it is the spline that has a little bit of noises let's go for a lower scale let's go lower but let's go to refine also the vertices so let's add the ear and the ear the ear you see we are tweaking to have more vertices and then we can have more detail as you can see okay uh, let's go lower and lower just a little bit you see a little bit of distortion okay and then it is falling down uh, now you see we have to tweak a little bit uh, the tears First of all, we need to change those points and again let's check it, okay, it seems not bad okay um, save and let's go there and we can create a simple material here uh, there we work with a basic shader Uh, maybe we can use a basic skin so fast skin okay nice and let's go in a perspective and save and let's make a preview okay it needs to be uh, tweaked so uh, the first thing we go to work at the material there so we use an arc and a sign and the material will be a black one uh, with a nice reflectivity let's say just a little bit of glossiness and then we have a really high transparency and the transparency will be 134 let's say and the fresh reflection will be done using the IOR um, back there inside the rendering you can just select this area and render we have to tweak a little bit the lighting you see that now we see the transparency but I like to use 
a skylight so let's go for heading a skylight inside the scene and there I like to use uh, an HDR map so uh, we can click automatically there and bitmap and let's go in the uh, folder where we have the scene let's use this one let's use the default value then we can copy in an empty slot as an instance and we'll use it as a spherical map um, let's go to have maybe there uh, a standard material because I like to go for something really fast to render uh, so let's go for this one copy and let's go for um, an arc on the sign paste and this one will be saturated and a little bit darker the reflectivity will be lower and we'll have and using the arrow rare let's try to see the same preview we used before okay you see that now the illumination is better and now I like to use the same map as an environment so let's pick this one and copy there and let's see that now uh, we should have a better reflectivity with no black spot okay you see we have uh, still a little bit of black uh, it is coming from the reflection but it is coming also by uh, the uh, reflectivity there and uh, and the refraction of the object we have so we can see uh, what happens if we have for example something like that just to be sure that we are uh, working on on the right way so let's make a more little area like this one and render okay you see that is mainly uh, the reflectivity and we can do something for example let's uh, copy this one and we go to use uh, just the area because you see it's really dark and we go to select you see just this part and then we can also see to have a little bit more illumination um, and this one will be used as map there as an instance uh, then we can go back there for the reflectivity and let's see with maybe 0 0.35 and see if it is working now okay you see that now it is a little bit uh, better we can see also uh, there okay and if we like to have some distortion uh, we can use a bump map to be sure about the scaling we can select the uh, the tier uh, let's assign there a noise And from there, let's go to configure and remove the selected object sizes so we see in a better way. Uh, let's see with 10. Okay, it should be really little let's go for zero five let's try in this way okay you see we can go with something more little and let's try with off and render again it seems nice.
So now this one can be used as map, as BAMP map there. So we copy and paste, we use a lower amount, and again we can assign this material and make a preview. We have some little distortion, we can have more and to have more let's try with a really higher value okay you see that it is better let's assign a map there and we can go with uh, it is really big so it takes just a little bit to be loaded and let's go to seeds we can remove the blurring and to control the coloring let's use a color correction keep old map and there we go to remove uh, saturation and we go to have just a little bit higher brightness and we can see if it is working nice We are preparing a preview. I think that the color is okay for the preview. It's not uh, a big issue. And you see, uh, we have obviously this problem there, but it's just because the mesh is uh, based on some pieces with no um, merging of uh, the vertices. So uh, it is starting to work. Obviously, uh, you need to work on the materials and the lighting, but it's just to understand how to animate it. So in the case you like to add the second tiers, you have just to uh, uh, copy, uh, first of all, the uh, let's go to select the tier path number one. You can copy the noise and then you need to select the other one and we can paste it. We'll see later if we like to have uh, something more or less. Let's go with a really low scale. Let's see, with or without, uh, we can decide later if we need to have it. Let's set to off so we can tweak it. And then we have to select the tier. Let's make clone. And this one will need obviously a different path. So we select the second path and we say move, move to path. So what we have actually is that we have the same animation, but we'll do something different. I like to have uh, this one uh, present as uh, at the beginning, so uh, let's go there and let's zoom this one and select maybe just the uh, first one and we go a little bit lower so we have the tier inside the scene at the beginning then actually we have the same pause so we can move it freely let's say there for example so it is moving then it is stopping but we can decide to just to slow down so we have the animation then it's slowing down Okay, now it is slowing down in the same part and we say again to slow down so we have it's falling, slowing down, falling, slowing down and then it is flowing faster so uh, it is working not bad uh, let's save and then I like to tweak a little bit there the puff so let's go any orthographic and let's tweak a little bit the path um, let's select the tier path number two and in the vertices 
Those vertices need to stay there. This one is okay, but you see that it's going uh, inside. We can have a refine there. So then we can select this one, select as local, and picking it a little bit out. Then we can do the same there. Talking about this one, I like to see without um, with uh, let's see a little bit of twist okay let's go in the camera and you see that we have that's pulling tears and it says not bad let's save uh, we can make a preview and uh, we can set to not visible the shape uh, So create preview create an animated preview. Let's use 100% and Let's go for a shield and Create Okay, it's ready to see Okay, you see that the animation is really not bad this one is perfect. We can add there is uh, this one is good too, but we can play a little bit with the uh, animation to uh, the path to have a better path. So uh, from this point of view, we can go in the orthographic and scale there. Let's make the path visible and let's select the path. Let's rotate. It needs to stay a little bit outer. Let's go to FDR uh, as plane select. Or maybe we can tweak it later okay it's this area so there and let's move it a little bit out of the face and now it should work fine let's remove the shape okay it is nice there because it's changing the shape and I really like it. Okay, uh, let's make a new preview. And we can see it, and you see that it is working nice. Perfect. Let's see also preview from this point of view, and we can talk a little bit about some stuff. Uh, the technique we are using is made really simple, but it is using a, 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 a mesh and we are using a path the form to animate the, uh, the tier dynamic. Obviously, there are uh, different ways to simulate something like that. We can use also the particles and it will be uh, something we can do in the coming part, but we've done something similar uh, when we worked on the rainy set up over a car body so uh, we done something with particle flow that can be used to create tears but maybe uh, we prepare something related to the other technique this one is really simple it needs not so much uh, tweaking but you can use it to create a lot
of interesting stuff. You see that the tier they are not so much visible, but we are talking about it there in this area. Uh, to have a better look, you can you obviously, uh, for example, render with an either uh, an higher reflectivity, or you can use it, for example, to generate mask to control the reflectivity and the specularity and glossiness over the uh, the face. So you can render, for example, in this case, the head will be completely black and the tears will be completely white. So you will have a mask to uh, control then the properties of the face. And it is nice to control the wet level and the wet shading over the material you are using for the face or the objects where you are putting the tear or the uh, falling water. So uh, that's uh, a simple setup, but you see it's really nice to animate uh, the tears. Uh, you can manage the shape, the 3D shape for the tear. Uh, you can also use it to create mask to control the uh, material properties for the, the face, uh, as I said you, so using a black and white mask. And you have a really uh, complete control over the tears, the animation, the path, and the look. So, for the moment that's all, and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.